As one of the classic models of the first-generation main battle tanks, the T-5455 has a large number of users worldwide and is still in use by many countries today. Technically speaking, it has long been outdated. Those who have the means will replace it with new tanks, while those who don't have the means can only make do with repairs. Egypt's Ramses II belongs to the latter category. Egypt is one of the countries that acquired Soviet T-54 tanks relatively early. In the 1980s, Egypt began to purchase American M60 tanks. However, Egypt did not intend to completely retire the old T-54 tanks. Instead, it allocated some funds to upgrade them. The specific implementation began in March 1985, when Egypt chose to cooperate with American companies in order to upgrade the tanks with American standard components. This would allow for partial interchangeability of parts with their own M60 tanks, thus reducing logistical pressure. Teledyne Continental Motors initially received a T-54 tank sent by Egypt. The upgraded tank was named T-54E, later renamed Ramses II. The focus of the tank's upgrade was on firepower and mobility. This tank returned to Egypt for testing in 1987, but the subsequent work took many years. The final version was not completed until 2004 when it entered the mass retrofitting phase. The firepower upgrade of Ramses II involved replacing the DT-10T 100mm gun with an M68 105er rifled gun. The tank carries 48 rounds of ammunition. The M68 is the American version of the British L7 rifled gun with a larger gun size. The recoil system was adjusted accordingly and the gun was equipped with a bi-directional stabilizer from HR Textron. An infrared spotlight was installed above the barrel. The tank's coaxial machine gun is an SG-43 7.62-meter machine gun, and the anti-aircraft machine gun on the turret roof was replaced with an M2HB 12.7-millimeter heavy machine gun. The new fire control system integrates laser rangefinders, ballistic computers, atmospheric sensors, digital processors, and infrared night vision capabilities, greatly enhancing the tank's combat capabilities compared to the T-54. However, the gun does not have an autoloader, and the internal space is still not spacious, given the unchanged turret size and crew size. Power was another key area of improvement. The fully equipped Ramses II weighs 48 tons, about 12 tons heavier than the T-54 tank. The original diesel engine was not sufficient, so it was replaced with a TCM AVDS 17795A turbocharged diesel engine, which can output about 900 horsepower. The tank's hull was appropriately lengthened to 7.05 meters, more than half a meter longer than the T-54, and the number of road wheels was increased from five pairs to six pairs. It uses hydraulic pneumatic suspension and the same road wheels and tracks as the M60. The tank's mobility has also changed with the increased power, with a maximum speed of nearly 70 km per hour and a cross-country speed of 48 km per hour. The focus of the tank's protection upgrade was not on improving the primary armor. Given the advanced tank gun levels of the 1980s, it was not feasible to rely solely on steel armor to provide sufficient defense for the T-54. The chassis could not withstand it unless the tank was modified like the Israeli heavy-armored personnel carrier, sacrificing mobility and turret. Ramses II appropriately increased the thickness of the side armor and installed a new overpressure NBC system, air filtration system, and fire suppression system inside the tank. By purchasing M60 tanks and retrofitting Ramses II tanks, it can be seen that Egypt is moving closer to American equipment. The mass retrofitting of tanks began in 2004, with a total of 425 tanks being upgraded. In terms of performance, the combat capabilities of Ramses II are only at the level of an upgraded version of the first-generation main battle tank. In this century, it has fallen far behind advanced main battle tanks. However, it can still be used as auxiliary armored forces in Egypt. It is just unknown how much longer these upgraded tanks can continue to be used. Interestingly, in recent years, Egypt has purchased Russian T-90 tanks, indicating a trend of moving away from American equipment. 
It is unknown whether there has been a change in equipment policy.